be excess meat poses the same risk as smoking. Everyone is buzzing about the Netflix documentary, What the Hell? This thing tastes like me, it smells like me. Like it's the year we go mainstream. The world is changing. Veganuary. 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 I'm doing no meat or animal produce for a whole month. I couldn't do that. Now this year, a record half a million people pledged to eat only vegan food in January. Very excited to be launching Veganuary here at Handpicked for the first time. 825 new vegan product and menu options. Vegan adverts, menus, recipes, vegan food launches everywhere. But eating more plants is one of the most powerful things we can do to help our planet. One, but plant. Honestly, that's better than what you ever imagined. More people than ever chose to go vegan this January, making 2021 our biggest year yet. Hi guys, it's Gordon. Um, I got a confession. I'm turning vegan. I talked to the chef. The menu was plant-based this year. Uh, I'm vegan. Is that going to be a problem? Novak Djokovic, Grand Slam champion. 19 of those were won on a plant-based diet. The Netflix documentary that everyone is talking about, it's called Sea Spiracy. Great British Bake Off welcomed its first vegan contestant this season. New York City has elected its first ever vegan mayor. Las Vegas opens its first vegan culinary school. The UK government officially declared that lobsters, crabs and shrimp are indeed sentient. This year, our leaders are deciding the global actions required in a critical decade for our planet. COP26 has opened in Glasgow, Scotland. It is crucial that these meetings in Glasgow have success. Let's not forget about the biggest destroyer of our planet, animal agriculture. It was supposed to be the summit that would stop global warming, but now there's deep disappointment fell far short of the urgent action that's needed. I apologize for the way this process has unfolded. This is no longer a climate conference. This is now a two week long celebration of business as usual and blah, blah, blah. It really is getting very close to the last possible chance. More than 100 people, 120 people have died and hundreds more are still missing after the worst flooding in parts of Western Europe for several decades. Nearly one half of the country, from the Pacific Coast to the Great Plains and the Upper Midwest, is experiencing moderate to exceptional drought conditions. Let me just say, state unequivocally, guys, it's really bad. Millions of people are dealing with scorching temperatures as a deadly heat wave continues to grip parts of North America. Warning in place from the Met Office for torrential downpours. Deluge of rain, flash flooding. And from now on, every day, somewhere in the world, we will have an extreme weather event, unprecedented weather event like we never had before. It's astounding the images that you're showing your viewers. Uh, we're declaring a state of emergency for New York City. I've just made that decision. Campaigners are urging the UK government to ban fur imports from China after footage shows widespread animal abuse and disregard for health protocols. Uh, but if we ban uh, fur farms in, in the UK, you know, with the last one closing what, in 2003, um, then is it really right that we're off-sourcing our fur farming to, uh, to third countries? Well, we need policy set in place. I mean, we have no policy, we have no restrictions in fashion. You know, once you know that kind of thing and you see it, it's really hard to go back. It's probably the closest material that we've seen that can really kind of replicate the luxurious feel of leather. The idea behind something like Milo leather is to take this and turn it into a product that looks, feels, and frankly, smells a lot like regular leather. Replacing your hamburger and steak with a salad might give you some added protection against COVID-19. Those who follow plant-based diets are less likely to develop severe COVID when compared to meat eaters. Where oatly goes, oat milk takes off. Are we off. really going with that milk and cancer? Is that the... 110%. Really? Milk is awful. I I was... The Economist magazine is predicted that by 2040, 60% of the meat market will be made up of alternative protein. Today, it seems like, you know, they're just lining up at the door wanting to throw money at plant-based businesses because I think people are beginning to see that this is the future. 
and Plant X. It's the first market of its kind and it's long overdue. There's a world where we can safeguard the climate without endangering the recipes that we've loved uh, or changing the way that people eat. This could be the ranch of the future. We are growing real meat using animal cells, but not having to raise and slaughter animals. It's the most clever thing I've ever seen in my 45 years I've been in the kitchen. I tasted it and saw it. I was really amazed and surprised by the texture and the structure. It was really a game changer. This chicken is not dead. What you mean, man? The trillion dollar industry with a trillion dollar problem. I think it's going to revolutionize our world. Our innovation can bring forth the next agricultural revolution and it has never been closer to reality. Thank you so much to Plant X for sponsoring this video. Plant X are an amazing online store, your one-stop shop for everything vegan. From food and groceries to indoor plants and even plant-based pet food, all at the comfort of your own home. This year, Venus Williams has joined Plant X as their ambassador. Here's what she's had to say. I love shopping at plantx.com. It's so convenient that I can get all the ingredients I need in one place and everything arrives so fast and in perfect shape. They have kindly given plant-based news a 15% discount, so be sure to use the code on the screen now. This is your way of supporting this annual vegan film series. Thank you so much.